That's huge. Don't drop it. Yeah. Mommy's gonna make sauce. It's it's so easy to die. Is this tomato? It's like a size of a pumpkin. It's like a size of Did a Did you pumpkin. see all the your pumpkins growing? No. So every year, it seems like around the same time, we suffer the same, I don't know. I know, what, what is it? The, the, the end of summer is so hot that you just don't want to be outside. And what, do, you, do we lose motivation? Is that part of the problem? And then you get to a point where there's like stuff in the garden that you forgot that was even growing and needed to get picked. Like these are like... Let's pick some apples. Let's pick some apples. bunch of stuff all over the garden right now. Some of it needs to be picked. Some of it still has, you know, we might be able to squeeze a couple weeks out of it. Um, but the leaves are turning and the season's coming to an end. The, the end is near. Yeah, I want to be ready for it. I don't, wanna, I don't want anything to not get harvested because we just we didn't take to it. Uh, part of the side of the a side effect of growing morning glories to fill in our oasis is their seeds everywhere. And if we don't want a morning glory apocalypse next year, all these seeds need to be picked this year. At least most of them. I mean, if some of them come back. That's great because then I don't need to purposely plant the morning glories, but. If the morning glories take over everything that's not the canvas here, it could be pretty dangerous. Oh, there's some beans. But I mean, like, quite seriously, it seems like school started and we got busy. And, you know, the, the little bit of gardening for a couple hours on the weekend doesn't cut it. Or, I mean, it can. It, your garden will perform as much as you want it to, as much as you can have effort to put into it. Uh, we, we were just performing a lot harder earlier in the season. It's awesome. Still loving it. The tomatoes are always a late season uh, treat. Uh, once they start ripening, they don't stop. And all of these volunteer tomatoes um, just keep feeding us really good late in the season. Both here and down here were, some of them were intentional, and more beans. We don't have to worry about like all these squish, little squishy tomatoes. If we let them sit there, um, then those tomato seeds will be a plague of volunteers again next year. I mean, there's still plenty of tomatoes to actually harvest. We're not done with that yet. Along with the calendula. And some beans occasionally. And the lemon bomb. Lemon bomb is still doing great. Probably will do great until the first frost. And the bee bomb, and the oregano, and the clover, and the rosemary, and the mullein. 
and the mint and the other mint and the cat mint and the parsley. I mean, like this is, I just had tons of stuff in the garden. The mul um, mugwort? Yeah, mugwort. And the morning glories. I mean, like we picked those two for medicine. And the, like the calendula, I make salads with them still, but you can make seasoning out of the flowers and it's medicine. And tomatoes, we got tomatoes growing, cute little tomatoes. And we got like this amaranth seeds. I can collect those seeds to cook later. And this kale, delicious, delicious kale. Tons of it, it'll keep growing until, until it freezes out. I'm gonna try to get it to grow longer this year. Different kale, all sorts of kale. Kale all over the place. All sorts of different kinds of kale. Picking that like crazy. And arugula. This is my fall patch of arugula. I mean, the things are still going on in the garden. Thanks for coming along today. You should get out there and harvest uh, whatever's ready in your garden. Don't let the last of your harvest go to waste because you forgot about it or because all of a sudden the season changes and you get a frost prematurely. It can happen. It can happen. Season's not over yet though. That's true too. Hope that your garden continues to take care of you. God bless you. God bless your garden. Peace out, Mr. Trapper.